And then he threatens to call the police in. I said, you're planning to kidnap my son. I will call the police in. Can we please talk about this later? I'm going out my mind. I don't know if she's got a case or who I should talk to. And I come in here for a smidgen of support. And you want to talk about it later? They're hardly going to move away tonight, are they? Did I ask for your opinion? Oh, no. <laughs> don't you take it out on her. Listen, we're in the middle of a conference call here. We are doing business. You come barging in here, not giving the monkeys whether we're busy or not. It's just me, 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 isn't it? No, actually. Simon, Simon, Simon. But maybe that's the problem. You know, maybe you don't care because you're secretly thrilled. Don't be so ridiculous. Yeah, but is it ridiculous, though? Maybe this is just the outcome that you've been dreaming of. Because that way, you get everything you wanted without the inconvenience of having to put up with a, a, a nine-year-old boy who can't stand the sight of you. I'm going to ask you one last time. Can we please talk about this later? No, I want to talk about this now. So, come on. Is that what you want, Carla? You want Simon away so you can have me all to yourself? I mean, is, is the hatred really that mutual? Oh, no. Would you speak to your mother like that? Who are you? Learn some manners. Get your hands off me. Put him down. Well? Is somebody going to explain? Peter. Meet my brother. Your taste in blokes hasn't improved. Family or no family. I want an apology. <laughs> After the way you talk to my sister? I should sit yourself down, mate. You're in for a long way. You got off lightly. You don't scare me, pal. Even if you were daddy of B-Wing. Yet I know all about you. She's told me you've been inside. Yeah, I thought he still was, to be honest. I got out this morning. This morning? With the bad suit and brown paper parcels not compulsory. <laughs> you know me, Michelle. I went in looking smart. I've come out looking smart. You're not looking so bad yourself. Mm. Anyway, I had nowhere else to go, so I thought I'd surprise you. Well, you certainly did that. Hey, come here. <laughs> Good to see you, Rob. <laughs> I was wondering when someone would get round to welcome home. Uh, I mean, I wasn't expecting bunting, but... <laughs> First of all, I didn't know you were coming out, and secondly, you were a bit busy roughing up my boyfriend. Who's still waiting for an apology. No hard feelings, mate. Don't ever do that again. I'll leave you to your family. And who knows, I might be able to salvage what's left of mine. That's the only decent-sized bowl I've got. Mum, don't you soak your feet in that yeah, one? I wash it out after. <laughs> We're all friends. Besides, my mum's punch will kill any germ stone dead in oh. seconds. <laughs> I'm not sure this is a good idea. Oh, come on, Dad. It's a party. They can't go home yet. Not after you've worked so hard to make tonight happen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put on some music. Oh, yeah. I could just fancy a bop. Oh, I bet you were quite a mover in your day. Oh, what do you mean in my day? I oh. could show you a thing or two. Let's fight and talk where I come <laughs> from. <laughs> Where's that, Rob? D wing? Here you are, mate. Get your laughing gear around that. Am I even crack a smile? No, no, not for me. Peter's teetotal. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah, pity. Mind, it's good stuff. Mum used to make it by the bucket load. Birthdays, Christmas, Diwali, Hanukkah. Any excuse, to be honest. Here you are, sis. Uh, no, I'm all right, thanks. What's the matter? Do you want an umbrella, innit? Oh, come on, you never used to be this fussy. I've seen you drink it out of jam jars. Yeah, well, not lately you haven't. So I'm all right. Thank you. Oh, you don't mind having a, a liveness, surely? Me? No, it's up to her, Rob. I'm not bothered. Well, there you go. He's not bothered. Get it down your neck. Well, if it'll shut you up. Of course, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, she's got a good one there. He's proper charming. Yeah, so it was Lewis Archer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, I'm going to make tracks. Because if I stay here any longer, he's going to get a taste of my punch, believe me. All right, well, I won't be far behind you. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> so, what's the emergency? Sit. Does he give his poor as well? What's up, love? Everything all right? Huh? Oh, no, no, it's not. See, Peter, this is Rob. Rob, this is Peter. And this is what they call in LA a do over. Hey? You're the two most important blokes in my life, right? Right now. And you, you seem to act like you hate each other. Oh, I don't know, love. I hate. Uh, it's a strong word. Well, we'll hate or dislike 
or rub each other up the wrong way, whichever it is, it's wearing me out. It's just a bit of banter, eh, Peter? Well, yeah, but banter does imply wit or humour. I'm not sure what you do qualifies. You see, can you just cut that out? Yeah, if it's bothering you, then maybe we'll try a bit harder. <laughs> Agreed? You know, I, I know that both of you like to think of yourselves as a pair of proud stags butting antlers over your territory or something, but I am not David Attenborough, so I'm not interested. OK, it's not fair enough. Don't you think you're being a bit of a drama queen? No, no, she's not. She's right. Just, uh, she doesn't need all this. Okay. Pleased to meet you. <clears throat> Bye. Anything special for? I'll stick it off a good impulse and I knew you were coming. You know what? I could cheerfully punch Leanne for stirring it like this. Yeah, well, you wouldn't have had to punch her if you hadn't gone behind my back, would you? Oh, great. A small world. We're just having a quiet one, so. This, hey, this is getting like Muriel's wedding. Deirdre Chambers, what a coincidence. <laughs> All right. Are you eating? Yeah. Very much so. Oh, well, bon appetit. I'll see you later. Oh, no, it's all right. I'm just uh, pulling up this table for oh, you. No, no, no. It's fine. No trouble at all. Thanks, Leah. There you go. Here's a chair. Just pop a piece of Oh, look at that. One big happy family. I'm Hank Marvin, Lee Marvin, and Marvin from JLS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Tom. I feel bad drinking wine around you two. Well, I'm just trying to show a bit of solidarity with Peter, that's all. Well, oh, excuse me while I die of irony. Well, Weatherfield's fine, it's tap water. Why don't you help yourself? No, thanks. I've seen what it does to my kettle. So, sis, what was it that first attracted you to the failing backstreet bookies? Hey, zip it. It was, I'll tell Tracy about that little twitchy eye thing you used to do when you were little. All right, that's mm -hmm. a low blow. Oh, babe, were you the class weirdo? Uh, certainly not. <laughs> well, it wasn't pretty. Mum used to throw her slippers at him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Peter, will you crack a smile? What is up with you? Get off his case, eh? How's your steak? Why, do you want to cut it up for me? Oh, dear. He's seriously act off, isn't he? And you've bought into a 20th century relic. <laughs> I think that's known as a lose-lose. Oh, well. Down the hatch. Or is it the swanny? Sorry, do I tell you how to run your business, do I? No. No, but that's because... You don't know the first thing about manufacturing. I, on the other hand, am a betting man. But the odds on me placing one in your gaff are 100 to 1. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> well, come on, then. Mary Porters. Tell us where we're going wrong. Where do you want me to start? We don't. Well, for God's sake, Peter. At least listen to him. Might even learn something. All right. In the spirit of being helpful, mm. sell up. A high street chain would have the clout to turn it round. Paid for these. And these. Well, a coffee machine. With no one. Are you telling me he's keeping my shop out? We knock off gear. It's on lease. The EPOS terminals, the screens. The coffee grinder was my little indulgence. We had a perfectly good vending machine. What, tea soup and botulism? <laughs> Look, that wasn't hospitality, it was an endurance test. What? We're the bookies. We take bets. If I wanted to gossip over flaming tea and biscuits, I'd go and work for Roy. Another few months and you would have been. Listen to it. He wins the strange way sweep once on the national. Once, and he thinks he's Ruby Walsh. Ruby's a fella, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Efficiency in a welcoming environment, that is what I'm giving you here. Bumbling, don't cut the mustard anymore, mate. Do you two think I'm stupid? Do you, do you think I would not have bought all this stuff years ago if I'd had the cash? You need to compete. No! I need to stay afloat, which you'll do more than do once we up the footfall through the door. Once upon to see that coming here, picking your brains and meeting their mates is, is far more attractive than a lonely online bet at home. See, I, I told you he's done his own work. <sighs> You've tied a millstone round my neck, thanks. Annex. The, the rebranding will pay for rebranding. itself. Rebranding? Yes. Yes, yes, Peter, rebranding is an investment. Look around you. I believe in this business. I believe in you. Yeah, just not enough to let me run it my way. Rob is just a temporary posting, OK? There's no skin off my nose. Look, if you want, I'll go. But there is the small matter of how you work all these things. Look, I've done the training. I've got the manuals. At the end of the day, you're still the boss. Exactly. Look, development consultant. Big cheese with his name over the door. Look, nobody's in any doubt about that. He? 
Wow! You don't let the grass grow. What are you thinking? I'm thinking... When are they going to offer me a fancy coffee? <laughs> when you have a ten of treble and your last horse falls 20 lengths clear. Which is Peter speak for certainly, madam. Would you like chocolate sprinkles with that? <laughs> Ooh, so this does the calculations for you, does it? Yep. I've worked a few shifts in this place, you know. Basically, it's me in electronic form, that's all. Peter thinks we shouldn't have bothered. His struggles would change. Men of his age do. <laughs> no, I struggle with waste. On what's a totally cosmetic exercise. No, not cosmetics. Even a stunner like Tracy looks better with a bit of lippy. Oh, thanks, babe. It's like a human oil slick. He is a man of many talents, which you will soon find out. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Mr. Mac. There you go, mate. Cheers, mate. Nice one. Cheers. Yeah, you wish you'd done this years ago. <laughs> go on, admit it. Don't you ever give your gob a rest. Hey, how's it going? Hey, great, yeah, we're, uh, we're having a ball, aren't we, Pete? Oh, yes, we certainly are, <laughs> Rob. It's a laugh a minute. Not killed each other yet, then? Oh, no, we're besties now, me and Pete. We like that, we like that. Mm. That is weird. Mam wanted me to ask you two for tea tonight. Oh, right, what do you reckon? Save you turning the microwave on. <laughs> Oi, cheeky, I'm always cooking. What, a ham and cheese toasty last week? I'm sorry, how does that even qualify as cooking? It started off cold, I made it hot, that baby is cooking. And I made you breakfast this morning. Yeah, because you want to get around me. Is uh, Deirdre stuffing a marrow for you? No, she's trying something different tonight, God help us. And um, she wanted me to invite you as well. Oh, no, you're right, I'm going to the gym. Oh, no, come on, I can give you a workout later, babe. <laughs> oh, please, you really livened things up last time. Go on, then, why not? I mean, after all, we're pretty much family now, aren't we? The place is on its knees, but I'll, I'll turn it around, no problem. Just watch me. To be fair, the bookies have provided a decent living for Peter for many years. Only just. Look, I've drawn a picture of you on, Mum. Oh, that's great, yeah. That's lovely, Amy. Well done. Give me six months, I'm, I'm telling you, we could have ten shops throughout the UK. Twenty, even. Yeah, well, you've got to learn to walk before you can run, big man. <laughs> Nothing wrong with blowing your own trumpet, Rob. If you don't, nobody else will. Coco van. Made from scratch. Mmm, smells delicious. Well, there's pretty much the contents of an entire wine box gone in it, so it's a good start. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what it tastes like, because we'll all be past caring. Mm. So what have you stuck in mind, then? Ribena? No, gravy salt. Mm. <laughs> and I've used shallots, which are half the size of your average onion, but twice as expensive. Oh. That is fine dining. Mm. Getting back to the bookers. What worries me is how you're funding all these changes. Yeah, let's, should we, uh, let's talk about something else. Yeah, it's all under control, Ken. The thing is, Ken, you've got to speculate to accumulate. Who wants a life without risk? All I'm saying is, that's a good little business Peter's got there. And with my help, it'll be brilliant. Well, oh, let the young old start do his worst day. At least he's enthusiastic. Bless him. Can you stop talking shop? Because mm. seriously, you are boring the liver out of me. All right, all right. Well, let me just leave it at this. Enjoy your business while you've still got it. Because one day, I'll probably buy you out. Oh, of course you will, sunshine. Of course you will. Shall we just stick these in, Deirdre? Um, oh, thank you, love. I'm uh, just about to bring pudding through. Oh, my goodness, that looks amazing. Don't tell me you made that too. <sighs> I'm not just a pretty face, you know. <laughs> Oh, that Deirdre is a work of art. Mm. Mm, that looks suspiciously like a fresh co's best. <laughs> Just because you're a stranger in the kitchen doesn't mean to say that I can't find my way around a piping bag. Oh, Ken, there's some squirty cream in the fridge. I need to check the date, will you? Because I think it's been hanging around for a while. I'm not one to judge, but that man is insufferable. But how on earth are you going to put up with that day out today? I don't know. I don't like him. I don't trust him. Oh, same here, join the club. And I don't like the idea of him being around Amy and Tracy. Look, Dad, I've met blokes like him before. He's just all mouth and no trousers. Well, maybe, but even so. You know, he's not really interested in the bookies. All he wants to do is wind me up. But, you know, if I don't give in to his little digs, then he'll get bored and he'll go away. Well, I hope so, for your sake. Yeah, I promise you. And the same thing will happen with Tracy. You know, somebody else will come along who's better and he'll be off. Do you know what he reminds me of? <laughs> oh, my boulder. Look at the chaos he caused. Oh, no, that's too... <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, 
run out of fingers, mate. Let me know. I'm just counting the number of bets that we've had this morning. Wednesday morning, quite a shift. Premium. Uh, 50p each way on taking the um, rise, and I'll uh, help myself to another coffee time. You see, it's quality, mate. It's not quantity. I could run this place single-handed. Excuse me. Excuse me. How would you like it if we were offering odds on how many pork sausages we could shift in a week? Uh, look, Sylvia, I have got to nip out, but you can speak to Robert, our development consultant. He could run this place single-handedly. You are stealing our trade. And I'm very disappointed in you, Mr. MacDonald. I was... Uh... Oh, come on, Sylvia. We're all business people here. Let's talk this through. Coffee? Do you know what? I think I'm going to have to get the punters to start putting their coffees down every time the race gets exciting. This is the third spill. Well, how come you're Mrs. Mock? What is Peter doing? Just, uh, just watching him on CCTV. Oh, by the way, Rob, you missed a bit. You must be exhausted, babe. Listen, I suggest a bath and an early night. Both with me. Oh, no. I'm sorry, I should have said. You're working, mate. There's a meeting at Cheltenham tonight. Why can't you cover it? Well, I can't. It's, there's a rotor here, and uh, that's your copy. Don't worry, Rob. Just knock on number one when you're finished. I'll be waiting. Hey, Simon got off school, all right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be up for round two after last night. Oh, come on, love. Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> Are you seriously turning me down? Hey, in the words of Blanche, if it was Christmas every day, it would never be Christmas at all. Uh, um, <laughs> Mrs. Connor! Oh, and back to the real world. Hello, Julie. Oh, my Auntie Jill's just wrong. But she's not really my auntie. She's just a next-door neighbour, but we used to call her auntie when we were growing up. Good to know. Oh, sorry, I'm rambling. Oh, I always ramble when I get in a panic. Mm -hmm. My mum's broken a hip. Oh, that's not good. What is it, osteoporosis? Ice skating. But she's in a lot of pain, but I think I need to go and be with her. It's all right. It's fine. Just go. Good luck. Oh. Oh, hey, Carla. I'm just thinking, uh, if you're a woman down at the factory, I'm sure Robbie will fill in. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, please. My sides are splitting. Yeah, well, at least you get home at a decent hour. So come on, then. How about town tonight? Somewhere fancy? Oh, sorry. I should have said there's uh, another evening meeting. No way. I'm keeping out of this. That's the job, Rob. You know, if you're not up to... Oh, I'm up to it, mate. Oh, I don't believe this. I mean, what am I supposed to do tonight now? Oh, maybe you could spend some time with your daughter. Do you remember her? Hey, me, she's about this high. Dark hair, she's lovely. Yeah. Well, at least I've got custody of my kid. See you later, babe. I know what you do, mate. And what would that be? Trying to mess with me. It won't work. No. In fact, me and Tracy had a nice time in here last night. It's pretty cosy in the back room, isn't it? So, once you've entered the stake, you choose location. Shall I make a note of that? Up to you. Who saw this with a new sign, then? Oh, apparently the old one was ugly. Well, I didn't want to say anything, but it was lower in the tone. Are you listening? So you only need the first couple of letters. So for Doncaster... Oh, oh, oh I know, I know. Is it... Dirt and R. Give that man a banana. <laughs> well, you must be pleased with all the new improvements. You thought so, wouldn't you? Please, I've had a computer in here for years. <laughs> that old thing. That's one step up from an abacus. Do you know what? You might think all this... this cosmetic junk is going to help business, but actually all people want to do, they want to come in, they want to place a bet, and they want to leave. This place is starting to look like the reception of a bowling alley. Oh, I have to disagree. I love the new coffee machine. It makes a lovely mochaccino. Mm, chocolate. Thank you, Steve. See, you might not like all this cosmetic junk, but the punter does. And you know what they say about the customer? Yes, please, mate. He doesn't seem to be going anywhere, mate. Do you want to wave the white flag and pay up now? Not on your life. I'm not having him coming in here with all his daft ideas, messing with my gut. Signs up, mate. Oh, cheers, mate. On my way. Come on, Peter. Let's have a look. Oh, fantastic, mate. Have you, uh, you got the invoice? Sure, mate. No worries. Nice one. I'll, uh, give you some cash. Well, at least you don't mess with me, your name, eh? Thanks, pal. Finally 
come round to my way of thinking. <laughs> well, it's one way of doing things, but what would you do if there's a power cop? I mean, would you be able to cope with things the old-fashioned way? Well, it's hardly rocket science, is it? Let's see, shall we? Whoa, what do you think you're doing? I thought you might be up for a little challenge. I've tried things your way, now you can try things my way. And we'll see if this big business brain of yours is cut out to be a bucky after all, shall we? Here you go. Come on. Good lad. Right. £20 double. Pretty dancer, limpet lad. Sure. Fiver, winter's tale to win. Yes, mate. Uh, what will be the payout if I make it each way? Um, Actually, do you know what? Make it a tenner, cos I am feeling lucky. Me too. I think I'll be coming into some money later. <laughs> New boy. Yeah, bless him. Hey, do you need a hand? No. Come on, come on. They're nearly in the stalls here. Uh, three, nine, five. Yeah. Make it each way, sunshine. All right, son. Come and on, Winston. Go we'll stick the kettle on, son. Something simple, eh? Something <laughs> simple. Eighty-five. I told you I was feeling lucky. Pretty dancer, pretty donkey more like. <laughs> and his toy toys could have run faster. Uh, I'm adding my loss to what you owe me. How's that brew coming on? I don't owe you anything yet. Hey, 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 what's this? I've had a little wager on uh, the new boy throwing in the towel. He's still here, so I win. No, no, end of the day we said I will have him out by closing time. <laughs> Ah, oh, cheers, Rob. Hey, hang in there, buddy. Hey, little tip for you. Get yourself a calculator. Not for everybody, this job. Horses for courses, you know. If you want to quit, there's no shame in that. Carla would understand. Maybe you're right. Yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't give you that satisfaction. Yours is in the kettle. You OK? <laughs> There you are, ladies and gents. Cheers. Enjoy. Thank you. Hey, should I be jealous? You what? That you seem to only have eyes for my brother, is it? Oh, no, I'm just uh, pleased to see him so happy. Oh, so it's working out then? Yes, we're getting there. And you're listening to him and encouraging him? Oh, yeah. I uh, taught him a little bit of calculation today. Oh, and it was me worried you were still sulking. No, business, babe. It's just business. Mm. Mm. If David ever comes back, order me a salad. I'm just going to wash my hands. Oh. I don't see him crying into his pint. Does that mean you owe me a 20? It's all right. Come on, come on, come on, hand it over. You know, as a bookie, you shouldn't make bets that you can't win. Shh. As you're doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on here then? <laughs> oh, it's Steve. What's he it? He, he bought oh, a coat off me. Earliest. You're gonna have to talk about it. Black pepper. Uh, no time. Oi, wind your neck in. I can't let him treat you like this. Oh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Though. Well, have you told Carla? I'm not going crying to Miss Sister, am I? And don't you dare either. Yeah. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Make him sorry? Do you know what the problem is? You're too similar. Uh, you are. Um, and there's your fries. Enjoy. No. I'm not going to apologise to him, no way. Well, you're cutting off your nose to spite your face. He could be an asset. Let's be honest. The only reason you put him in the book is because you don't want him in the factory. Maybe. But he's got a good head. He knows how to make money. So have I. <clears throat> not recently. Oh, come on. Well, he can help you. I don't need his help, Carla. You know what? If you stop puffing out your little feathers for a minute, you might actually get on with him. These are your chips. Don't change the subject. Do you know what I think you should do? No, seriously. I think you should have, like, a lad's night out. You know, do a bit of male bonding. This isn't sex in the city. Hey, David, I ordered some chips. No, I thought I brought them. No. no. Look, your brother is complacent and lazy, and we've got nothing in common. It's just mouthy, impulsive, with an outward swagger that's just hiding yes, a right, deep in right. Sorry, mate. I think there is. Oh, keep him. No, no, honestly. No, I, I don't want him. No, I wouldn't be that petty. Look, will someone have these flaming chips? Okay. <laughs> Everything all right? No, it's not. <sighs> Sorry. No, mate, you should go home. You look dead in your feet. No, I... Yeah, Friday's always money. Don't worry, I'll pay you in full. 
Right, okay, I'll get an early night and I'll be on it tomorrow, I promise. How many more toys are you gonna throw at your pram, eh? Will you just give him a chance, will you? All right, all right. Anything for a quiet life, okay? Thank you. I must say, I enjoyed our chat. Hey, that makes two of us. You, uh, you didn't find it boring then, because I do have a slight tendency to waffle. You're kidding, aren't you? Listen, I've just had a master class in canals. You, you've opened up a, a whole new world to me. You honestly mean that? 100%. Hey, how about this? Next time, Mel, bring in all your books, you know. Give him the full works. Would that be all right? Of course. Oh, oh, smashing. I'll see you tomorrow. Nice one, mate. You have a good one, yeah? Now, don't forget. So do I pass? Don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, come on, Peter. I saw the way you palmed him off on me. You thought I was going to crack, didn't you? So you spent ten minutes with Mogadon Melvin. Really big deal. <laughs> well, it's nine minutes more than most folk, innit? But face it, my people skills are unbelievable. Is that right? Yeah, I'm telling you, mate, I'm a natural. One saddle does not make a summer. You really want to impress me, learn to count. Come on, son! Come on! Yes! Yes! Oh! Has he won? Yes! Yes! <laughs> I never win. Well, look, you, mate. I don't have to check my system, out. <laughs> You've got a system? Oh, yeah. I've got away this. Come on. Well, it's nothing amazing. You know, just pick horses like with a person's name in our musical reference. Right, so that's why you picked Gallop and Gordon and Bangers Run. Yep. And it didn't worry you at all that both nags were coming in at 50 to 1 long shots, right? <laughs> <laughs> Your system sucks, mate. Happy Teddy won. Yeah? And you didn't back it, whereas I did. Ouch. Read it and weep. <laughs> Accumulator, eh? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, good job you've got that gadget in it. All right, mate. Fine. Yeah, right. Well, mate, congratulations. You have won £48.50. There you go, mate. <laughs> Off a 50p steak? That is good. And that is great. A bit lucky, I think. And if I just check that, it'd be my guest. Spot on. <laughs> yeah, mate, don't spend it all at once. Thank you very much. <laughs> Victory. Cos I know Pethidine's supposed to be dead safe and everything, but all the same, I think I'd prefer her to give birth drug-free. What do you think? I think he's off duty. And you're not. Right, well, I'll leave these menus there and I'll, I'll speak to you later. I'll look forward to it. Finally. Poor Kylie. You'll be playing whale music and chucking a bean back at her nest. <laughs> you know, when I was having Amy, I took every drug they offered. I mean, think about it, right? A baby's head is like this big. Oh, no! Stop, stop! Tracy, we do not all enjoy trawling through the, the intimate details of childbirth. Thank you. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Carla. I realise it must be a bit of a touchy subject for you. Still, your time will come, babe. I hope not. Still, you'll have to hurry up at your age, eh? So, I understand you've started working the bookies. Yeah, yeah, I've been uh, drafted in to help get the business back on its feet. Well, that's what Carla likes to tell him any road. I suppose you could think of me as some sort of uh, troubleshooter. Oh, hey, it's trouble all right. Uh, do you know this one? Didn't know how to add up until I showed him how to do it. Yeah, see, Peter thinks that you still have to count on your fingers because he, <laughs> he doesn't quite realise that we're actually in the electronic age. Let me have a guess. I bet you failed your GCSE maths, didn't you? You did, didn't you? He I think it's time we hit the road, isn't it? No, no. Night's still young, love. Plenty of time for another one. Hey. Mm. The thing is, nowadays, if a punter left his kid sitting outside with a packet of crisps, he'd have social services on his bike, wouldn't he? Mm. With us, it was our mum and our latest uncle sat in her cortina outside the pub on a Saturday night. A couple of cans of fizzy pops and a bag of crisps. That was us for the next three hours, wasn't it? Remember? Yeah, happy days. Mm. Oh. oh, well, thank you for the coffee. Play nice, you two. See ya. Oh, hey, up, Norris. <laughs> A bit early, aren't you? I didn't have you done for gambling. Oh, I, I have been known to have the odd flutter. Mm. You know, in fact, uh, well, in, in fact, there, there was a time when I, I, I found the football pools quite alluring. Oh. Uh, well, th that was until Hartlepool let me down over the eight away wins jackpot. <laughs> but for that, my life would have been very different. <sighs> very different indeed. <laughs> when you finish that, Top up the betting slips and then go tidy up this back room, will you? I'm not here to be your char lady. I've, I've brought in new systems, done the place up. Well, what do you want? 
you want a blue Peter badge? I've forgotten more about this business than you'll ever know, Sunshine, all right? So you just go over there, finish pinning up that newspaper and get on with the jobs I give you. There's a good boy. Go. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there, there seems to be a malfunctioning with the equipment, see? <laughs> oh, great. Look at... I thought you'd looked at this machine. I did. Well, come here and have another look. I'm busy. You're standing right next to it. If I wanted to fix it, Rob, I would fix it. Oh, make up your mind, would you? I mean, do you want me to do this or do you want me to do that? Oh, stupid me. It's got a plug on it. You wouldn't be able to manage, would you? I'll tell you what. Forget the electrics. There's a mop out back's got your name on it. Oh, don't think that you're leaving me with that mess. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Rob. I, I thought that's why you were here, to work for me. Yeah. No, no, to no. To work for me, yes. You ask my sister that question, right? And she'll say that it's to work with you. Oh. I see. Now you're splitting hairs. And when you've tied it up, make sure that you have a look at this, OK? Because you don't want to be mopping up every day, do you? I'm going to the bank. Carla, look, you're going to have to do something about this boyfriend of yours, because if not, I'm going to end up decking him. No, no, I'm not going to speak to him. Because you're two grown men. Or at least you're supposed to be. Just sort it out, will you? Oh, Tweedledum or Tweedledee? Rob, I'll tell you what, this place is doddle compared to dealing with them two. Mm. Well, it can't be easy for Peter having Rob over there playing Captain Fantastic. You know what he's like. He's probably winding him right up. Oh, yeah, probably. You can't just nip in the back for a quickie and leave the shop empty. You idiot. We could have been robbed. Oh, relax. I kept an eye on the place. You were supposed to be fixing this. I come back and all the electricity's off. Oh, it's all fine. Don't rush to help me. No, we won't. I'll leave you in charge for half an hour and the whole place goes to pot. Oh, it we went to pot a long time ago, mate. He's right, you know. It's only thanks to Rob and Carla's money that you're even open. I know you're getting on a bit, Tracy. But even you could do better than that fool. Oi, don't speak to my girlfriend like that. Oh, thanks, babe. And do you know what? While you're at it, you should start showing me a bit more respect and all. Ah, fruit machines bust and all. The whole thing's shorted, you idiot. Do you know what? I don't have to listen to this. You're doing me head in. Come on. Let's get out of here. OK, look, it's not working, clearly, and it's my fault, so it's only fair that I put things right. Good. Oh, Rob, look, you're brilliant at what you do. Thanks. You breathe life into that shop, but... Thank you. It was a temporary fix, you know, it was an experiment, and it's... Hello, it's perhaps only just time we moved on. What are you saying? Oh, come on, you don't want to work there. Peter doesn't want you there, so... So you're giving me the elbow? <laughs> now, what magical power has that man got over you? Oh, come on, I'm doing what's best for the business. Well, he is the bucket. Yeah, but I'm your brother, but obviously that means nothing to you. Oh, of course it oh, does. Come on, you know that I'm right about this, but you just don't care, do you? You're not taking me seriously either. No, you are just overreacting as normal. Look, this isn't personal. Oh, it's very personal. Do you know what? Stuff the bookies, mate. Never wanted to work there in the first place. I'll see you back in here tomorrow, yeah? Here you are, love. Oh, thanks, Pam. Now, are you sure you're all right? I mean, shock can be a delayed thing. Yeah, I'm fine. You know me, I'm tough as old boots. Sorry about that. Oh, you work too hard. You should make some time for yourselves. That's a good idea, that. Oh, it's all happening today. Right, that was Lee. Yeah. Silk's been stashed safe and sound and the van's been dealt with. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> You've got visitors. Oh, Trace. Carla told me what happened. I said we need to get around straight away, see if she's OK. Look at that. Oh, yeah, we, uh, we got you these there and not very nice, but, you know. Oh, cheers, babe. Oh, isn't that nice? Shall I put them in some water? Oh, love. So, how are you? Yeah, I mean, I'm OK. I'm just, um... Just a little bit shaken, you know. Oh, well, I'm not surprised. I mean, you were jumped by three blokes, you know, in, in broad daylight. Mm. Yeah. No, it was two blokes. All oh, right, it's two blokes. Did you manage to, you know, get a look at them? What's this, Pete? You're playing detective? 
Well, I'm concerned, Rob. Trace my sister. Yeah, and you're my brother, so we're, you know. So come on, Trace, what happened? You know, tell me the whole story. Oh, do I really need to go through it all again? Look, she's tired, mate. Yeah, I know, I understand that. But it's better that you talk about these things, you know, Trace, while they're still fresh in your mind. Yeah. You know, it might help you to remember something that's going to help, you know, find the scumbag that did it. Not to mention recover some very expensive silk. Well, I, I reckon that they knew the silk was in the van. How could they know that? I'd say it was the van they were after, plain and simple. Oh, by the way, the van turned up. Burnt out on some wasteland. No. Mm. Come on, then, love. Just try. Just tell us the whole story, you know, right from the very beginning. I feel sick. Look, you don't have to do this, love. Let me do it. Yeah, we do. I told him how desperate we were. I begged him for help, and he looked me in the eye and said he couldn't. But we don't know he's involved for sure, do we? I mean, you know, Tracy could be flying solo. No, he's in the driving seat, all right, look. Sorry, love. Not as sorry as he's going to be. Hey, mm. mm. you've got some silk to flog me. Thief. Liar! Smirk. Don't you dare smirk! You got caught, didn't you, again? Like you always get caught, Dumbo! I see, it's too much of that and not enough of that! All right, enough. He's not worth it. Get off me! What, you think you can rip me off, do you? <laughs> me, who's carried you since you got out of the nick? Carried me? Yeah, and then laugh in my face! Oh, it's all about you, and it, Carla? She has given you chance after chance. <laughs> I begged you in that office to stay, but no, you would rather have a few bank quid in your back pocket oh, than have me, you wouldn't you? You drove me to it! Uh, well, save it for the coppers, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, you really think I won't ring him? Peter, phone. Seven rolls, yeah. They're all there. Yeah, well, if you do call the police, then all that's going to be impounded, isn't it? Rotten in a, a dusty storeroom in a week in court as Exhibit A. I don't give a toss about the silk, Rob. How could you do it to me after everything I've done oh, for Carla, you? Carla, you didn't donate a kidney. You gave you your brother a job and a bed when he came knocking, and I've, I've repaid it a hundred times over. What, by stealing by from me? By working night and day, schmoozing, bullying, begging by pretending that we were a premiership outfit when I knew that we were League One at best. For which I gave you a fair wage. Oh, well, don't talk to me about fair! Right, give me the phone. If you don't want to call the coppers, I'll do it. I bust a gut for Underworld. For you. I thought that we were building something together. Suddenly you jumped by flaming wealth. But no, it all got too close for comfort, didn't it? So you bailed again. What? Stumped for your bezzy mate. Oh, bust and no brains. Michelle is a grafter. Oh, she's a plodder. Oh, well, she's loyal. Well, to your face, yeah, she acts the part, but but killer instinct? Nah. Still, she's a she's a conner, isn't she? And you just can't help but suck up to that clan. Stuff your own family. Come on, let's get this in the car. It's not my fault you were the smelly girl with one pair of shoes. It was Mum's fault, Dad's the Bacardi. It wasn't me. Come on, let's get this shifted. So, he's talked his way out of trouble. You can Again. Get back to Underworld and clear your locker. Oh, is that all you've got? Yeah, say? and you can give your girlfriend a marching orders and all. And don't think I've finished with you yet. Oh, Carla, you finished with me 20 years ago. You must be loving this. That's it, Chip. You are. See my best mate get ripped off. Yeah, I'm loving that. Look, there's no need to pull up a chair. Just, um, I'll cut to the chase. I don't see any point in sending you back to prison, so... Don't even have the good grace to say thank you. She hasn't finished yet. Look, I've seen enough of courtroom drama to last me a lifetime. I just want you out of the factory and out of my life, please. Easier said than done. I propose a swap. Your freedom for mine. You sign the 30% share of Underworld back to me. How much? <laughs> well, let's see. How much did you pay for I it? I earned it. No, no, it was a gift, Rob. So you gift it back to me, and then you walk away, unescorted, I might add, to somewhere else. And what if I refuse? Mm. Oh, honey, 
When your brothers get to talk like that, Rob. When your brothers get to trade. No clues in the surname. Oh, you're not my brother. Just some loser I grew up with. I'd turn you in without second thought, actually. So, you know, it's your call. I'll draw the contract tomorrow. You either sign up or go down. Do you some more red wine, Michelle? Love, son. What do you want? Payment? By my reckoning, you owe me 700 quid in wages. Is that right? Mm. Well, do you know what, Rob? I think 700 sounds fair. Of course, I'm going to have to make some deductions. You understand that, don't you? So, 200 for killing the electrics, 100 for the malfunction of the coffee machine, another 100 for clearing up the mess. So, can you tell me how much that is? 400 quid. You can count. 100 for having to breathe the same air as you, 80 for having to put up with your dodgy aftershave, and this 20 for your liberal consumption of custard cream. You can't do this. No? So what are you going to do, sue me? I'll tell you what, even better, why don't you phone the coppers and we'll exchange stories? You think you're the big man, don't you? No, I just think I'm a better man, Rob. And believe me, that's something coming from a bloke like me. So what's it going to be? Because I'd hate to charge you for waiting time as well. Seven to one on Ratha Khan. Is that your best price? Why? Do you want me to put you down for a quid? <laughs> Try a hundred of them. I'm really going to enjoy this. Come on. And coming into the final. Come on, Ratha Khan. Come on. Well in front of trumpet That's it. Come on. His lead. Yes. Yes. Get in there. Beam me up, Scotty. I believe that's 800 English pounds that you owe me. What's going on? Oh, ask laughing boy here. He's just put a bet on an outsider. It came in. It happens. It happens. You shouldn't have accepted his bet in the first place. Well, I'm a bookie, love. That's my job. Oh, don't be such a spoiled sport. I should tell you where to stick it. <laughs> what, are you going to try and fleece me again? Hey, what's going on? Oh, I just reclaimed some of his so-called wages. That's... He ripped me off, in other words. Is that true? He got what he was owed. Yeah, and now we're even, so come on. Cough up. Oh, the... It's been a steward's inquiry. What's the steward's inquiry? Just like a sec. And Rother Khan has been disqualified. Oh, dear. Rother Khan disqualified. I'm sorry, better luck next time, sir. Rother Khan disqualified. Are you proud of yourself? What? It's my fault he's a born loser. That's sensitive, Peter. It's really, really sensitive. Well done. You look disappointed. Yeah, well, that's the way it is in my business. You know, one man's night in is another man's night out. See, it's a tragedy, really. Kind of encourages hard-heartedness. Still, <laughs> I'll live. Yeah, you'll be out of business by Monday. How can you compete? Oh, I'm doing all right, thanks. Yeah? It won't last. Gonna bet. I've had enough of this. I'm gonna go and play darts. Whoa, hey, you seen this, Trace? Yeah, well, I don't really understand betting myself. Good. Neither does your brother, by the looks of things. Still, I told you, mate, you're playing with fire here. But once a gambler, always a gambler. Yeah, well, we can't all be high flyers like you two, can we? How's the cold calling going, Trace? And how's the, uh... oh, I'm sorry, Rob, you don't have a job, do you? But um, I'm sure the commission that Trace makes is going to see you all right. Anyway, better get back to work. You two, be lucky. I only just got in from work myself. Do you want something to eat? Do you want some soup? I'm not homeless. I just don't want to go back to the flat. I'm sorry, Deirdre. Is it the shop? Why did you say that? Well, Steve just mentioned that you've been doing some pretty generous deals. Well, well what he actually said was daft deals. You know, I'm just trying to bring in a bit more business. Only Carla don't see it that way. She barges in, shouting the odds. If you 
Pardon the pun. Mm, she didn't buy into the business. You can't really blame her. Oh, come on, Deirdre, please, not you and all. We should never have took the flaming money off. <laughs> That's like money. Oh, Mum, you should see this new car, that. What are you doing here? Oh, he's licking his wounds, isn't he, after the fortune Steve took off him? Do you mind? Oh, don't worry, Peter, just because Steve's next door buying everybody drinks. Will you stop winding him up? You're like some big daft kid. I mean, is it too much to ask that when your brother's in trouble, you just show a little bit of concern? I'm not. I'm not in trouble. Now, just go away, will you, and leave us in peace. Er, uh, I live here. Yeah, but he doesn't. This isn't just some hotel, you know, where you can just wander in with your latest plaything. I'm sorry. You've got a flat of your own, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, we'll use it. Now, go, the pair of you. Right. Well, come on, Rob. We don't want to stay where we're not welcome. Yeah. Just when I thought nothing would cheer me up. <laughs> Your brother's just walked in. Oh, I know. So what's the plan? Do we just, like, pretend he's invisible? I don't know. I've not thought that far ahead yet. Shame, because he's coming over. Evening all. Rob. Good, Tracy. Peter. Mind if we join you? Yep. Oh, was that a snub? Well, it sounded like a snub to me. Look, I think we all know how we feel about each other, so how about you? Just give us a bit of space, OK? Why don't you give him a bit more pocket money? He could get a round of drinks in, then. Did you not hear me this morning? No. Uh, tell me again. Tracy, take him away before he says something he's going to regret. Uh, well, I tend to let Rob make his own decisions. Unlike sugar mummy here. It's all right, look. It's a thing with families, isn't it? We all like to poke each other with sticks, so... You've had your fun now, just... See you around. Take some deep breaths. Don't let him get to you. Do you follow me in here? Eh? We've got to start talking, Peter. Carla was right about you, you know, Rob. Oh, yeah. You're just a pathetic little boy who blames his mummy for ruining his life. So, have I touched a nerve? You should tread more carefully, and you're out your depth. So why don't you do yourself a favour, and you paddle back to the shallow end, and you leave the big boys alone? One day. <laughs> you know where I am. I look forward to it. I came in here to give you a message. <laughs> Go on. Leave me and Carla alone. Stay away. Or else what, you'll... you'll set me on sister on me. Six fifty, please. There you go, and one for yourself. Cheers. And a kick in the shins, please, Mandy. I mean, you know, God forbid you should sound grateful or anything. Have you never been a barmaid? Yes, but it doesn't stop me complaining, does it? <laughs> oh, what's this? The state agent's details. Are you moving? Oh. You'd love that, wouldn't you, Michelle? Far away, I hope. Oh, no, wait a minute. What about Amy? Does Steve know about this? I'll wait, shall I? Till your brain catches up with your mouth. Hey, what is going on? We are looking for premises to start our own business. <laughs> business, you! What's wrong with that? You're not seriously thinking of setting up with her, are you? I've never been more serious in my life. You couldn't choose a bigger liability if you tried. Do you know what? I think I'll do this back at the flat. Listen, you're the one with the liability. A dry drunk who could spin out of control at any second and drag you down with him. Oh, yeah, I'm right, aren't I? Are you going to stand there all day? No, I'll move. If he asks nicely. I'm not having any trouble in here. Don't be pathetic. Too scared to do that yourself, you are. The pair of you! 
Well, the posters might have gone, but the odds are still as good. Look at that day release, four to one favourite. I know, you're going to get two to one for that on the internet. Well, are you going to give it a go then, Dennis? Oh, I'll wait and see what Steve's back in. He's the one on a lucky street. Hey, all right, boys? No, yeah, mate. Are you having it then, Stevie boy, or what? Well, I'm surprised you're asking me after last time. Oh, I'm not bothered about that anymore. Come on, have a punch. Show these fellas how it's done. I'm toying with day release. How did you do last time, Anna? Yes, Jason. Are you feeling lucky? Yeah, <laughs> not really, mate. He might not be, but I am. Get out. <laughs> well, scared you might lose. I'm not scared of anything, Rob. Certainly where you're concerned. Right, then I'll have 100 quid on free as a bird. 25 to 1, I think you're offering. Or have you only got the bottle for small bets? I'll take anything anybody in here throws at me. All oh, right. So why have you taken the posters down? Or was that her who must be obeyed telling you what to do? Nobody tells me what to do. So you can take me money or do I have to go to a proper bookies? 100 quid. Hmm. I quite understand if you want to back down. You're on. <laughs> Here comes Fraser Bird. Come on, you beauty. Fifth to four. Fraser Bird now making a late surge. And yes. Bang the point into second. Oh, he pulled up. He pulled up and he looks hurt. Fraser Bird is gone. And now it's Bang the Drum. Unlucky, pal. Point, the it's and funny, though, Rob. You seemed so finish. sure you were going to win. All right. I'll tell you what. I'll have an accumulator on them four. My, my. You have come prepared. What's your stake? Worried it might bankrupt you. No, I want to know how much you're betting. You can't just hand me a slip before horses on it. Well, what if I said... 100 quid? Yeah? OK. Or better still... 250. You gonna make your mind up then or what? I'll tell you what then. Let's make it around 500, shall we? Final answer. Look, run it by Carla if you're not sure, because I'd hate to get you into trouble. 500 it is then. Rather than me. All right. You only just managed to pay me out the other day, and that was just for one off. You lay it off, won't you, Peter? That's right, Peter. Run to the big boys and spread the risk. Won't have to lay it off, Dennis. Don't worry. I've only gone and locked myself out of the flat. Can I have your keys for a sec? What's going on? Oh, yeah. Daisy's is third. Right, the wall is out of the line. Oh, he's going to do it. Daisy's moves up to second, pushing up Daisy's game. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. And then there were three. Want to go? Not worried. Enjoy while it lasts. Oh, it'll last. Very Jones looks a very happy man, as well he should be. Oh, looking well. Yeah. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. Come on, bring it on. Come on, come on, it on. Come on Morris. Here you are. One last push. Come on. Go. My boy Morris is second. Boxing Clever is in third place. Flying the war. I tell you. You are never doing that again. No. Probably not. Peter, I'm not smiling. Bad luck, mate. Look, I'm uh, going to go back to work. I'll see you in a bit. Look at his face, though. 600 quid he's lost in here today. 600 quid. You let your feelings about him screw your judgment. I know. You nearly ruined us. Yeah, but I didn't, though, did I? You all right there, Rob? You look a bit peaky, old son. Can I get you a drink or anything? You were lucky. I'm surprised you're still here. Or are you trying to work out how to tell Tracy? You see, you let your emotions get the better of you. Not a good thing to do. Don't push it. And just to think, you thought I didn't know how to run this place. Was that money for your new business, was it? Oh, dear. Well, never mind. You could always put another bet on. You never know. Your luck might turn. Peter. Her who must be obeyed. Better run. You need to grow up. Yeah, I will now. I've seen him off. I promise. 
Five. Seen that old Dennis? Yeah. You hear that? No way, surely. This hasn't finished yet. How much would he win exactly? He won't win. OK, I'll put it another way. How much have we got? Uh. 1,500 in the safe and 300 in the till. Poor old Peter, if he loses. Lucky Rob, if he wins. And I Jeez. hear we have a decision. Well, come on! Loretta Swift has been disqualified for interference, which means the winner... Yes! Oh, 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 what? I think you owe me some money. <laughs> 35,190 quid, I make it. Of course, my, my mental arithmetic was never as strong as yours, was it? A numpty like me would need a calculator to work it out exactly. All right, Rob, you've made your point. <laughs> well, you're looking a bit peaky there, old son. Hey, can I, can I get you a drink? I knew that coffee machine I brought in would come in handy. I'm not paying. <laughs> you are. Bet's void. Can't, can't do that. Can't do that. Lloyd. Oh, no, 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 mate. I've got me slip. You took me money. I've got witnesses here. I don't care what you've got. Oh, don't tell me. I've cleaned you out. Just get out of my shop. It's funny how you look can change, isn't it, Peter? Had that winner a few weeks back, got disqualified. Just goes to show you, if you stick at something long enough... So get out of my shop! I'm not going anywhere without me money! Eh? Really, you're going to have a long way. Well, I'll take you to court. You do what you like. I'll tell everyone that Peter Barlow don't pay out. No one will come in here anymore, will they? You'll be finished then if you're not already. It's a bit out of order, Peter. I don't have to pay. I don't have to pay anybody I don't like. Well, what? All right. Folks, the show's over. Just, just get out. Except for Rob. Yeah, the voice of reason at last. Hey, uh... Right. Now, can we have a serious conversation about my winnings? You can have your stake and that's it. If I wanted to stand up, mate, there's plenty of clubs in town. That's all you gain. You owe me 35 grand. Now, I know you don't have money like that on the premises, but you can get it from the bank, and I want cash, not a check. Sorry. I don't think you're getting this. No, I don't think you are either. This betting slip is your legal obligation to pay out. Now, if you haven't got it, you're going to have to find it. Who says? What, is, this, is this your your way of saying that you're going to plead insanity when it goes to No, court? it's my way of saying you're not no, getting any we'll more see money. see about that. Rob. Yeah. You can have what cash we've got here. No. I haven't got a choice, Pete. Well, at least it's a start. That's 300. Lucky she's here. You're lucky I haven't called the law in already. So all you owe now is 33 and a half grand. I'm asking you to take what you've been given and be satisfied. You have no idea what's going to hit you. Get out. Still my property. Oh, what's going on? We have come to offer you a way out of your current financial difficulty. Can we get this charade over with? Just say what you got to say. All right, fine. I've decided not to sue. If you let us have this shop, rent free. What? For six months. You're going to laugh? No. Nope. After that, we'll pay rent. You'll never get a bookies license, either of you. Well, we don't need one because we're not going to be running it as a bookies. <laughs> what are you going to be doing then? Running an art gallery? <laughs> hey, I could do. I could sell my mum's pots. What? No. Can you imagine? So what are you going to do? Because I'm sure you're not qualified for much. Well, let's just call it retail and, uh, well, we'll leave it there. Look, just because you worked in a shop once, Tracy, does not mean you know how to run one. Yeah, but I do, and I know marketing, and I know <sighs> how to sell. It's not The Apprentice. Look, forget it. The answer's no. Can you do anything without her yanking your strings? I'm not giving you the bookies. Fine. All right. Well, I'll sue you then. Or rather, I'll sue you. Wait. Peter. 
I just need to do some sums. Uh, just give me a bit of time. Fine. You got till the end of the day. Hey, cheer up. Listen, it will still be a family business. Just without you in it. Oh? What's it to be? You can rent the shop. For free. For the first six months. And then you pay the going rate. So we'll have to draw up contracts. Right. I want it vacated by the end of the week. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you having a laugh? Am I smiling? That wasn't part of the deal. Oh, sorry. I forgot to say. Fine. Look, don't do this. You want to rent a shop, I'll lend you the capital. Oh, no. You just don't get it, do you? What, you're always saying I don't help? You will now I am. Well, remember when I told you Danny Harris nicked my bike? I didn't want you to, to turn up in the playground and beat him up in front of all my mates, Carla. That's not help. Keep dancing, monkey. Oh, sugar mammy to the rescue again. Do you know, Samet, I'm so pleased that me and you have got an equal partnership. Celebrating? We certainly are. You're not getting married, are you? No, that's way better than that. Oh, excuse me. What could be better than that? Yeah, come on, Rob. What could be better than that? We're opening a shop. Second-hand goods. A charity shop? Uh, no, actually. Well, no wonder that you didn't want to tell me. We buy and sell, taking advantage of a growing market. So when you find yourself a bit strapped for cash, mate, you know where to come. Mm. That's if your sugar mummy won't help you out. Go for a fight. Fifty quid for all that. Really? It's a joke without a punchline. No, that's the only offer you're going to get for that pilot's hat. I'd rather sling it all in a skip. Yeah, of course you would. That's how you got here in the first place. Rob, 50 quid is a bit tight. Oh, showing signs of art there, Tracy. You want to go and get that checked out? Peter, you are taking this way too personally. But anything that happens to me personally is personal. Discussing 500 words or less, fewer. 500 words or fewer. I beg your pardon, Professor Higgins. One of my dad's bugbears. Oh, don't remind me. Hey, do you remember this one? In a block, or finely grated, one S, two C's in desiccated. You need to get out more. Right, 55, final offer. Where the sun don't shine, mate. Oh, you being summoned by Miss Sis. Tell her you're busy. I'm gonna ring John Mooney. I'm gonna get a skip. Don't be mistaken for rubbish, will you? Way to go, Peter. Our pocket as per. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, come round whenever you want. I've got nothing to hide. Yeah, you do that. Just um, text me back when you find a slot, all right? Cheers, bye. Business? Nope, and certainly not pleasure. It's my probation officer. She wants to pay a visit. Oh, is that a problem? Well, not really, because as soon as she sees that we're setting up a legit business, it'll get her off my back, won't it? Oh, look who it is, the happy couple. Not for long. Peter will be bored before the first dance. <laughs> all right. I hear congratulations are in order. That's right. He's making money for me. Oh, that's a rockin' half, that is, sis. I need to put my shades on. Pushing the boat out a bit, aren't you, mate? Or was it Carla doing the shoving? Peter bought it. What, with your money? <laughs> Am I right? We bought it between us, Rob. Yeah, I bet you did. You bought the box, she bought the ring. <laughs> Does it matter who bought what? What says is mine and vice versa? Yeah, well, I know who's getting the better end of that deal. Do you know what, mate? I'll take me hat off to you. Life of Riley and you don't even have to lift a finger, do you? If you must know, Peter's working at the factory now. We're partners. <laughs> oh, well, this just gets better and better, isn't it? Hey, we're opening up at the right time. There'll be plenty of skint people around here. Once he's worked his magic at Underworld, we'll be raking it in. Yeah, well, I hope you do, Rob. Right? But just remember, out in the real world, we're dealing cash, not phone cards and snout. Oh, chill out, Pedro. I was only kidding. No, she won't let you near anything important. You'll have about as much clout as a left hook from Emily Bishop. Peter, enjoy making the tea. Yes, man. There you go, ladies. Thank you. Well, I thought I might have had a large one, considering the efforts I've put in. Cheers, ma'am. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Do you think you might call a truce while I just enjoy my drink? Oh, I... Blood is thicker than water, you know. Yeah, and a lot messier to mop up. Uh, white wine and a, a coke. coke. Thank you. Yeah. How's the shop going? Oh, um, 
Yeah, it's going fine, isn't it, babe? We're opening next week. Oh, I'm really pleased. And seriously, you know, I wish you the best luck. I don't think I'm the one who's going to be needing luck, do you? I was just trying to be nice, Rob. Yeah, well, instead of trying to fix you and me, why don't you concentrate on your new pet project? Here we go. <laughs> mm. Mind you, it, it's uh, it's probably still the honeymoon period, isn't it? When she's she's loving having you around, wants you to be a part of it. But you mark my words, mate. She'll never let you forget your place. Never let you forget that you're only there because she's allowing it. Do you know what, Rob? So much resentment. Really, it must be exhausting being you. Oh, it is, isn't it, babe? <laughs> you see, the difference between me and you is, Carla. Trust me, we're partners. Fifty-fifty, is it? Yeah, I thought not. Good luck. You really have to start banging down at 7 o'clock in the morning. There's no answer to that, mate. Uh... No, no, nothing. He's doing it on purpose. Oh, Louise, just both calm down. I'm perfectly calm. Oi! What is going on? Can you tell Rob the Builder here to have a little bit of consideration for other people? Start work at 10, finish at half past three like a proper builder. All right, come on. Come on, it would be appreciated, Rob. Go on. I knew that I'd get to him. Oi! He's still our landlord. Listen, I love winding him up as much as you do, but you've got to be a bit smarter about it. So, basically, must try harder. Exactly. So, I really want to come and see this house clearance stuff with you. Rob, are you listening? So, are you enjoying being a new project, then? Sorry, are you talking to me? Oh, hello. Well, what's she promoted you to now, eh? Milk monitor. Oh, how old are you? Look, Rob, we've both got new businesses, right? I work at the factory and you work in your junk shop. It's not a junk shop. No, sorry, hang on. No, you, you buy second-hand gear and then you sell it on. Yeah, but... No, I'm right. Yes, yeah, it is. It's a junk shop, yeah. Come on, love, let's sit down. Oh! It works. Well, of course it works. We're not selling tat. Got this stuff off Fat Lenny. Do you remember how you played chopsticks? <laughs> not like that, babe. Do you know something? Even if I say so myself, I have got a real eye for interior design. Really, Tracy? Well, you ought to send an email to 60 Minute Makeover, then. Uh, we're not actually open till next week, guys, so... That's all right. We don't really do second-hand. Oh, look, dress it whichever way you want, mate, but the bottom line Have you ever is... heard of the bottom line, Peter? It's a business term. Mm. I've heard of mine, your own, Tracy. Don't rise to it. Look, we are going to make more money than you ever did. Yeah. I know that's setting the bar low, but... Oh, bar low. <laughs> Go on. Don't let the kiddies get you down. Well, anyway, I wish you all the luck in the world. I hope you rise to the top and become millionaires <coughs> with your little second-hand shop. Mm. No, jealousy is so unattractive in a person. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Amma. Uh, let's keep this professional, Rob. Miss Newbury, to you. Oh, I stand corrected. Um, should we go inside? I've, I've got some biscuits. Actually, Rob, before we move on to the pleasantries of coffee and dunking, I will need to inspect your new business premises. Oh, right. Really? Well, of course, really. Just to make sure there's nothing untoward going on over there while you're on licence. Define untoward? No, you're not stupid, Rob. I know. That's why you're drawn to me. I'm a happily civil-partnered lesbian, Rob. Shall we? All right, Rob. Who's your mate? It's one of my fan club. Oh, you found her, did you? <laughs> well, according to us. To us? So, shall I turn over the side? Oh, hang on, hang on. I want to savour this moment. Oh, it feels great, Trace. I feel like I'm, I'm back in the game. We're back in the game? Yeah, we. This is a partnership, Rob. We were very nearly dead in the water after your stupid stunt, Trace. Yeah, well, I've said this, Rob. I was trying to help. Yeah, I know, I know. Shall I do it? Ha, <laughs> why not? I have leafleted, like, the whole street. Look, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Either way, we will be winners. Hmm. Come here. Oops. Oh, sorry. Uh, put her down. Don't know where she's been. Dirty. Should have guessed. Uh, Peter, have you forgotten, love? You don't work here anymore. So, right then. Am I your first customer? Yeah, only if you buy something. Oh, come on, Peter. Have a browse, eh? 
Give you a good price. Well, I like his shirt. How much is that? Oh, hasn't Carla got some dry cleaning she needs picking up? Oh, he's sharp, you know, Trace. You want to watch him? He's sharp. Oh, I will. Yeah. Right. Hmm. I'll give you a week. <laughs> Do you know what? I'd take that bet. If only there was a bookies round here. Trace, can we go back inside and, and talk about this? There's nothing to talk about. I saw the look in your eyes when I asked you. You took me by surprise. It, it was our big day at the shop. I, I wasn't expecting that. Admit it, Rob. You were after my money. That is all you've ever been that after. That is not true. All oh, right. So why do you look like a rabbit caught in the headlights then? The first time I mentioned us living together. Do we have to do this on the street? No. No, let's go back to your flat. Oh, no, wait a minute. Not welcome there. Tracy, please. Going home. Oh, Tracy! You know where I live. Enjoy the show? Yeah. Better than telly. What are you smelling at? What? Did you not enjoy that? Well, that sounded serious. Yeah, well, serves him right. Well, do you know what they're arguing about? She needed to know what he's really like. Hang about. Whoa. Did you have something to do with that? Well, I'll give her some brotherly advice. What brotherly advice? He conned her into sinking Amy's savings into his daft business scheme. I said... What advice? I said... If he really cared about her, then he'd want them to live together. <laughs> One of these stupid games gonna stop. Oh, come on, look, don't tell me that you feel sorry for him. Not after everything that he's done you, to you. You just can't leave it alone, can you? All right, all right. Look, last time, I promise. I can't turn my back for five minutes, can I? Because you're at each other's throats. Don't worry, I'm not gonna let your brother have the satisfaction of splitting us up. You better mean that. Yeah, I do. Good. Well, at least we've agreed on something. Hey, enjoy it while it lasts, Tracy. As soon as he's got what he wants out of you, he's going to be gone. I'm telling you, and he's going to be taking your money with him. Don't even look at him. Did I just not say stop stirring? I'm trying to make her see some sense, love. Never had it down you and Tracy were soulmates. <laughs> you are joking. Well, you both spend half your time telling your fellas to stop acting like kids. You've got more in common than you think. <laughs> right, can you, uh, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, that should be fine, yeah. No, we'll have to do it first thing, though, because there's only two more shopping days till Christmas, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, right. See you then. Cheers. Ta. Tracy's my sister. What? what do you think I'm going to do? Stand by and let somebody like well, you ruin my sister's you're, life? You're saying that as if you're so much better. But where's all this coming from, eh? And since when? Have you cared about what happens to Tracy? I'm telling you, right? And you better listen. Whatever you're doing with Tina, it's going to stop. Right? It stops now. Have you got that? Nope. Good. Since you I came to see. So, Rob, what do you think you're playing at? I haven't got a clue what you're talking about, Peter. No? One word, then. Tina. I've seen you, Rob. Driving around. Little peck on the cheek. It's very cosy. Yeah, look, not that there's anything going on, but what exactly has this got to do with you? Tracy's my sister. <laughs> you remember Tracy? You know, the girl yeah. that you're supposed to be. Oh, in a since when have you two been with? so close, eh? Well, thicker than water. So, oh, yeah, I'm but she's not blood, though, Peter. She is your stepsister, right? Or, or maybe you just want her all to yourself. Don't you? Yeah. Hey, did you just say? Oh, ah. Get off him! You know, you're lucky I didn't knock you into this <laughs> weak idiot. What have you done to deserve oh, that's that now? Right, Trace, just take his side, why don't you? Do you know what, Tracy? You've got terrible tasting men. You know that. I knew it. I knew something was going on. Huh? You having an affair with Tina. What? I've seen you. Cozying up, whispering you, your secret smiles. I'm old enough to be a dad, Rob. Yeah, well, it seems like she's a little bit sleazier than we all thought, cos when she's not not having kids for folk that can't have them, she's hopping into bed with the bloke who gives her the eye, isn't she? And why would I do that? Why would I want her when I've Why got your sister? Why did she have this? 
Ship Hotel, Dryston Lane. Now, why does that ring a bell, Peter? Oh, that's right. That's where I saw you last week. So, come on, you want to start explaining fast. You the big man, eh, with your special buyer up? It's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Is it? Loads of people go to hotels. Oh, yeah, Tina's never out of them. She's got her own suite at the Ritz. <laughs> I don't know what she does in her spare time. But I do, now. You ever thought a punter might have given it to her? Oh, right, she charges now, does she? How much? Someone in the pub. Left it on the bar. Yeah, you. Or maybe left it lying around. I don't know. Either way, this is very flimsy evidence, pal. I'm not your pal. So a pen means that we're having an affair. All right, so why did you give her your credit card before, eh? 1965, you know, you really want to take care of who you give your PIN number to, and also, you want to be careful where you have your discreet little chat. I asked her to get Carla some flowers, if you oh, must know. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, to say thank you to her for being so considerate. I'm not going to listen to this. Do you know, I always wondered why someone who was trying to stay up and drink spends so much time in the, the mine. And now I know, you get it so you your be with her. skull, that there's nothing going on between us. And if the only thing that you've got for evidence is a flaming pen, then you want to have a long, hard look at yourself in the mirror and think, why am I so interested in other people's non-existent affairs? Idiot! Well, let's see what Carla has to say about that. And Coronation Street continues in half an hour. Miss Carla, where's she gone? Well, don't mess me about. Where is she? That's rich coming from you. Well, if you've said anything to her, I'll... You're what? Just tell me where she is. You're hardly in a position to start shouting the odds, Peter. Whatever you think's going on with me and Tina, you're wrong. Now, where's my wife, Rob? I would like to see her. I'm not going to answer that. It might be important. There's nothing more important than this. Well, I'll tell you what, then. You give us your phone, and I'll tell you where they've taken I'll it. forget it. I'll find it myself. What a surprise. So, come on, Peter, you, you're going to deny it again? You're going to lie through your teeth that nothing's going on while your wife, my sister and your baby are in there okay. going through... Oh, God knows what. Okay, okay. I admit it. You're right. I was seeing her. But I made a mistake, I know that now, but it's over, OK? And I swear to God, Rob, if it's made me realise anything, it's how much I love Carla and how much she means to you me. You know what, Peter, I've come out with some cobblers in my days, but you... You're in a league of your own, ain't you? I'm telling the truth. Yeah, we'll try telling someone who cares, cos right now I'm this close to breaking every bone in your body. Uh, are you Peter? Yeah. Uh, your wife's asking for you. OK. I'm, um, I'm her brother. OK, if you both want to come this way. Please don't say anything. Get your hands off me. You OK, love? Can I get you anything? Something to eat or drink? Stop fussing. I just want to make sure that you're OK. You look really tired. Well, it's you. You're tearing me out. Hey, why don't you go run a bath and have an early night? Oh. Actually, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. I think I will do that, yeah. Do you know what? I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. You know where I am if, uh, if you need me, yeah? Yeah. Thanks for tonight. So, come on, then. What? Why didn't you tell her? <laughs> Why do you think? I don't know. Is it blackmail or is it some kind of sick game? But this isn't a game, Peter. But unlike you, I care about her, about that baby. And as much as I want to tell her what a, a weak, useless, drunken waste of space you are, the fact is I don't think she could take it right now. So you're not going to say anything? No. No, your dirty little secret is safe. But I swear... If I see you with Tina, if I hear that you've had another drink or you, you hurt my sister in any other way, I swear, Peter, I'll kill you. You all right? Yeah. Uh, two sex. Trace. Peter? 
You OK? Leave him, Trace. He's drunk. Mm. Not drunk enough. Carla, don't get involved, love. Listen, why don't you come and sleep it off at number one? Because there's nobody there at the moment. Carla, are you all right? Have you always been scum, eh? That's, that's hell I call the feet. No, 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 it's fine. Is it? Oh, do you want some, dear Peter? Well, hey! Oh, Rob! Hey! Rob, 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 leave it! Leave it, Rob! Dear Peter! Rob. Oh. Carla? Carla, oh. what is it? Oh. Hey? It's all right. Hey? Hey? Carla? Oh. What is it? Carla, hey. Back up! Oh. Oh. Come on. She's going to be all right. No fingers crossed the both well. How far gone did you say she is? About four months. I don't want to sound like I don't care about the baby, because I do, but I can't help thinking that Peter got pregnant just to keep her occupied so she wouldn't notice what he was up to. I don't know. I don't know. And one thing I do know is that she really wants this baby, even after everything that's happened. She's normally sharp as a tack. All her faculties went out the window since she, she got together with him. I tried to warn her. Well, you can't tell people who to fall in love with, can you? You can protect your family, though. I didn't. I just... I just let her get on with it. Peter Barlow was always bad news. I've let her down. Hey, come on. Don't be so stupid. You're a brilliant brother. She thinks the world of you. You couldn't stop that falling for Peter. Nobody could. Sorry. I couldn't stay away. Is there any news? Yeah, she doesn't want to see you ever again, so just, just get lost. She's still my wife, Rob, and I'm not going to go anywhere. I mean it. I want to see Carla. I want to know how she is, OK? And I want to know it now. I've got just as much right to be here well, as she you She doesn't want you here. Stop it. Right, stop it, the Mary. Carla is going through hell in there and you two are squabbling like a couple of kids. All right, all right, I'm gonna go. Peter, if there is any news, I will text you, OK? Just give her some space, please. Can you come through? Another death on your conscience. She should have avoided stress at all time. Fat chance when she's got a lying, cheating, murdering husband. You belong in jail, Peter. That's where you're heading. And I'm going to make sure it happens. I said that, did he? I mean, they're his words, not yours. OK. Fair enough, if that's what you want. Sai. Still won't speak to me. Give him time. Deirdre, that kid's got a bigger brain than us two put together. If he has time, he'll realise that he's right. And uh, why would he want to talk to me? What for? All I've ever done is let him down. You're his dad. That makes it even worse. I want to talk to you. Not now, Rob. He's upset. I've got a proposition. Sorry, I'm already married. Not for much longer. Deirdre, give us a minute. Whatever you've got to say, you can say it in front of me. I want you to go. Oh, OK. Uh, where to? Anywhere, so long as it's away from my sister. You know, you've never really got over that jealousy, have you? I know what you're trying to do. Yeah, trying to get the woman I love back. Love? <laughs> Is that how you explain your behaviour? Oh, and you're a brother now. Oh, yeah, after you tried to rip her off and ruin her business. No, Carla always knew what I was, but she thought you were a good man. Beneath all the, the gambling, the booze, the women, she trusted you. Look, I may have let her down, but I've never betrayed her. 
I'm not going to listen to this. Look, Carla knows the truth. We all do, even your own son. What did you say? Visa! Didn't you ever speak about my son? Did she scream? Did she scream when you pushed her off that balcony? Get out, Rob. Hmm? Do you wake up at night sweating, seeing her face, seeing her poor, frightened face? Is that why you need a drink, Peter, to blot it all out? Peter, don't. It's what he wants. Just get out of my house, now! Carla knows I'm no killer. Carla wants you gone. We'll see. We'll see. What are you trying to do to him? No, open your eyes, Deirdre. You know he's as guilty as I do. I'm really sorry. It should never have happened. No, it shouldn't. They said she would have survived the fall, you know. Whoever it was came down and finished her off. As if she were just some insect they were stamping on. I mean, what sort of person does something like that? I'm sorry. Can't get it out of my head, you see. Imagining them last moments of what she must have gone through. I shouldn't inflict that on you. Forgive me. No, no, no look, forgive me. For, for not being able to change things. I, I wish I could. I know. We all do. Carla, I have to tell her, OK? Carla! I'll talk to no, him. No, Carla, don't. Look at the state of him. You're not going to get any sense out of him. No, wait. Peter, please, just not here! You didn't mean it, did you? You, you don't want me to, to go no. away. Yeah, she does. So just, just get the hell out of here. Come on, let's Carla. go. Let's go. No, no, no. Look, you have destroyed everything. If it wasn't for you, Tina would still be alive. Yeah, well, she destroyed my life, so hey, that makes us even. Did you hear that, eh? He murdered her! Just like he murdered his own baby. Stop it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! They've got some cheek coming in here, throwing accusations about. Well, they never accused anyone, Trace. Oh, come on, Rob. You heard them. They obviously think somebody in our house has done it. Well, if it wasn't me, you and Deirdre, then who does that leave, eh? Oh, and the condemned man ate a hearty meal. You what? Can we go see Dad? Uh, no, Sally, we can't. We need to tidy up at home. We don't want Sophie thinking we're living in a pit, do we? Look, everyone knows that you killed Tina, so why don't you do us all a favour and hand yourself in? Use your choke chain, oh, will you? I'm asking you to do the decent thing for once in your life and, and save your family a load of aggro. Well, just get out me face. Oh, that's it, Peter. Yeah, walk away, just like you always do. Wait. I need a word. It's a funny old world, isn't it? Here's you about to check out, wondering what it's all been about, and who's that next year? The man you hate most in the world here to... to wave you off. <laughs> the irony, eh? Well, except it's not ironic, it's... What's the word? Fitting, yeah. Dead fitting. Cos whatever's happened... Whatever I had to do... It's down to you, Peter. All of it. This old flaming disaster is start to finish. So I reckon it's only fair that you pay the price. And if you don't like it, you can argue the toss the next time you see us. Because we're bound for the same place, me and you. And there's neither of us going to need a coat. It just started fitting. What's happening? <laughs>